Hey dear friends, if you're here, it means that you want to customize your Beat Saber with new songs while playing on Oculus Quest or Quest 2. And you're right to do so, because it's so much more fun to play Beat Saber with custom songs. With the newest BMVF update, adding new songs to Beat Saber has become easier than ever. And at the end of this tutorial, you will be able to download custom songs directly from the Beat Saber game window. How? Keep watching and don't forget to support DiscoVR by liking and subscribing for more fun and informative VR content. I also added timestamps for this tutorial in the description and if you're experiencing issues with any step along the way please reach out to the beat saber modding group discord server you will find the link below and your questions will be answered there and now if you're ready let's go First, let me show you how to get the correct versions of BMBF and Beat Saber. At the moment of this recording, the most recent version of BMBF is 1.15, and this version should work on Beat Saber version 1.17.0 or higher, because BMBF 1.15 was designed as a universal version that should work with all future Beat Saber updates. Yay! First, make sure you bought and installed Beat Saber on your Quest or Quest 2. If you have a modded version or a previous version of Beat Saber and BMBF already installed, you will need to uninstall them both and then manually install Beat Saber again so that you have the latest unmodded version of Beat Saber installed on your headset. Make sure you open and play it at least once before we start patching. Next, you will need to install BMBF, which you can do by opening SideQuest either on your PC or on smartphone. Make sure your Quest is connected and search for BMBF. From here, you can install it directly on your headset. I will not explain how to install SideQuest, there are plenty of videos on the web explaining how to do so, including mine, so just follow the steps there and come back to this video. Another way to install BMBF is by going to this website and downloading the latest version of BMBF. Then in SideQuest, click on this button that says Install APK file and select the BMBF file you just downloaded. And now we are ready to patch our Beat Saber with BMBF. Now you can disconnect your Quest from your PC and put it on. Go to Apps and select Unknown Sources. From here, click on BMBF. Allow permissions. And now follow the steps that you see in the window. The first step will be to uninstall Beat Saber. And after that, in step number two, BMBF will patch Beat Saber to make it prepared for custom levels and mods. This step might take a little while, so be patient. And step number three will be installing our patched version of Beat Saber. Go ahead and click on Install Modded Beat Saber. At this point, it will ask you to give permissions to install BMBF on your Quest, so head to Settings and toggle this switch. Then click on the back arrow and you will need to click on Install Modded Beat Saber again. Click on Install. There is a small chance that at this point you will get a window that says package installer isn't responding. Don't worry, this did not break your installation process. Click on close app and it will continue. Now that your patched Beat Saber has been installed, you will see this window warning you that this is an unofficial version of your game and asking you to restore it. As of today, we have no evidence that patching Beat Saber may affect your account in any way. And in over a year of doing this, none of the users has been banned or suffered any negative consequences. To keep your patched version of Beat Saber, click Close. Now that the patched Beat Saber is installed, click on Done, not Open. If you've had a previous version of BMBF installed earlier, the custom songs you previously installed will be synced back as well. While still wearing your headset, you will see this BMBF browsing window. In this window, click on this big red button that says Sync to Beat Saber, which will install seven core mods required for the game to function properly. You can check out your core mods by clicking on the Mods tab. All seven mods should be there. And that's pretty much all you need to patch your Beat Saber and start uploading your custom songs. Open the game and to your left you will see the new tab Mods and Song Downloader is one of the core mods. When you click on it, you'll be able to search for a song or the artist that you want, even though the results might not always perfectly fit what you're looking for. Also, you can't really preview the songs here, but if you click on this button, it will download it right away on your quest. Now, if you go back and start a solo game, you will see this tab that says custom songs. You can switch back and forth with the Beat Saber tracks and the DLCs, and in this custom songs tab, all the songs that you have side loaded will be right here. Later on in this tutorial, I will also explain to you how to manage your playlists. You can also delete songs directly from Beat Saber, just click on this trash can button on the song that you want to remove. 
You can see that some of the songs that I downloaded have multiple difficulty options, but others might have only one. If you download the songs from the game, you aren't able to see whether the song has different difficulty modes. So that might be just a little bit limiting. That's why I want to show you a different way to upload songs that will allow you to see the difficulty levels, the genres, and overall search for your songs in a more precise way. In your headset, open BMBF and click on Browser. You can download songs either from Beast Saber or Beat Saber. I will show you the Beast Saber tab. There's a huge collection of songs that you can choose from. Some of them are really well done and some of them are not so much, but looking at the rating really helps you make the decision whether you want to download it or not. As you can see, each song has a difficulty level listed here and the genre. You can browse through maps of the week, staff recommended. While browsing, you can also add some filters. For that, in the top left corner, click on the sandwich menu and click on find maps. By default, it'll show you the maps that were added only seven days ago. Go ahead and change it to all. Here you can filter the songs by genre and by the difficulty level. Or you could go to the search bar and look for a specific song or the artist that you'd like. When you found the song that you would like to download, simply click on this button and it will be downloaded into your Beat Saber. Some song maps were built with the help of mods, so you will need to install those mods to be able to play all those extra maps. To install mods, go to BMVF, click on Browser and select Get Mods tab. This is where you can download all kinds of mods, including cosmetics to have custom sabers, blocks and walls, but I will make a separate video about that. There are three mods that are used to create extra special custom levels – Chroma, Noodle Extensions and Mapping Extensions. At the moment, only Chroma is available to download because Noodle and Mapping Extensions still need to be updated, so keep an eye on them, but we can install Chroma. Click on this button to download this mod and don't forget to sync. Now when you go to Beat Saber, you will see that when you look for songs, you can filter them by selecting only the maps that require Chroma, and those will be our special modded maps. Song maps that were created with the Chroma mod are unique in their colors and special effects, like I played this one map that only had light effects and felt like I was in a club, while normally there's only the maximum of two colors in the map. Chroma mod allows way more than that, so mappers can get really creative then. Enjoy exploring all these unique maps with the Chroma mod, and keep an eye on Noodle extensions and mapping extension mods, as they will also bring lots of new to Beat Saber. If you need any mods to play a song, you will see this question mark and by clicking on it, you will see which mods are required. This map requires both the Chroma and Noodle mod, and because Noodle is unavailable right now, I can't play it, but don't worry, it will be updated soon, and when it is, you'll be able to find it in this Get Mods tab along with the Mapping Extensions mod. And now let me show you how to set up and organize your playlists. Open BMBF in your headset and click on the Playlist tab. This is where you can sort all your custom songs into playlists. You can also delete your songs from here. You can see all my playlists to the left. I already created one, just named it New Playlist, but let's create another one. To create a playlist, simply click on this purple button and put in the information like the playlist name. I will just call it Faves. When you're done, just click Save. And when you open it, you can drag and drop your custom songs to directly to this playlist. Notice that when you add these songs, they are not getting moved, but rather copied from the list of all custom songs. You can also rearrange them by simply dragging and dropping them in the right places. Remember to sync to Beat Saber to save your changes. You can also add a cover image to your playlist to make it easier to differentiate them, but for that, you will need to open BMBF on your computer. For that, simply go to the Tools tab, and in the top right corner, you will see Accessible via Browser at and the IP address followed by column 50000. Type it in your browser exactly the way you see it in this window, while still keeping your Quest 2 sensors active. I simply keep it on my forehead while doing this step. The window that will open looks exactly like the one in your headset. Head to the Playlist tab and from there you can select a cover image for your playlists from your computer. When you're finished, remember to sync it with your Beat Saber and you're done! And now when you open Beat Saber, you will see that our new playlist is added right here. We have the cover image and when you open it, all your songs are sorted the way you wanted it, so it helps keeping your custom songs organized. That's it for now, friends. This method of loading custom songs should be the same regardless of your version of Beat Saber as long as your BMBF is installed. In my next video, I will show you how to mod your Beat Saber with custom sabers, blocks and walls. This process will be very similar to the one described in my earlier tutorial, but since there have been so many Beat Saber and BMBF updates, 
updates released since then, I'll make an updated video very soon. So don't forget to subscribe to Disco VR if you find this video helpful. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and as always, happy sabering.